So guys, um, today we're going to be talking about um, a video about um, how did, I guess, Satan sin. And so, let's get into it. In heaven, if we, if we can't, we're not going to sin, we're not going to have sinful thoughts, bad thoughts, how did Lucifer think to, like, go against God? Like, how did he... How did he decide that like he wanted to be God if he was in heaven and we're not gonna have sinful thoughts? And then like with that also goes with like angels, how do they decide to go mm -hmm. with the devil? And then no. is there free will in heaven? Are all angels in heaven or are some outside the realm of heaven? And then how can angels switch from going inside mm -hmm. heaven to outside? So many questions. Is this eight year old a demon? <laughs> Gee, what kind of question? I wow, know, right? that kid is thinking. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Those are great questions. And I think when it comes to how could Satan have fallen being in the presence of God, first of all, the Bible doesn't really tell us, right? In fact, we don't even know uh, how many angels went with him until like you're in Revelation 13 or something, right? There's not a lot in the Old Testament about the fall of Satan. Some try and say, well, you know, it might be embedded in, uh, say, uh, Isaiah 14 or Isaiah 28, and that's disputed or not talks about the king of Babylon and all this but mm -hmm. we don't really know the Bible doesn't tell us although it seems to me it would make sense that in order for God to give these creatures free choice he had to have some distance between them he had to give them an opportunity not to see his full glory but to give them an opportunity to make a decision whether they're going to follow him or not because freedom requires the ability to make a choice one way or the other. And if God overwhelms them with his presence, then they might not have that choice. So is that heaven and the heaven we're going to be in, are those going to be like, are those two different heavens? Uh, so let me, um, okay. Um, I don't really think that would be correct, that for, for them to have free choice, God had to distance himself to them. What kind of God is that? Now, I'm not saying what he said is wrong, but I don't think that would be, from what I know who God is, that would be God. Now, of course, God cannot force you to make a decision. But at the same time, he's not going to be um, removing himself from you so you don't get his full glory. Those angels were not sinners. They were holy angels in the presence of God. So they, I'm pretty sure they knew exactly who God is and God's full glory. Okay. Um, so, first thing first, wherever Satan was, is the same place we're going to be. Now, not forever. We're going to be in heaven in God's presence for a thousand years, reviewing the books. The Bible says that. Revelation chapter 20, I believe. Well, we're going to be the judge. We're going to be looking at the books of the records. Now, it doesn't, it's not like it's going to be like a literal book, but we're going to get a view of what actually happened, why some people did not make it, and why some did. Like for instance, when Stephen sees Paul in heaven, be like, wait, God, this guy killed me. How did he get? Then he's gonna see what actually happened. Now, um, now, how did sin enter the world? Um, we don't know. Okay, back in the Bible, we call it a mystery. We don't know. God can tell you now. What he said is true. Is that? By creating us and human and angels and giving them free will. Now, first thing first, when he said that um, God had to distance himself, if I'm hopefully I'm not misquoting him, from the angels, that's a lie to me. Why? Satan was what? A covering cherub. Which means when you're looking at the um, when you're looking at the Shekinah glory, 
there were two angels, one on the right, one on the left, with their wing up above God's head. That's what a covering cherub is. That was Satan's place. Satan was right in the face of God. So there is no way Satan did not know God's full glory. Actually, Satan, by Satan's brightness, came strictly from God to shine to the other angels. But of course, pride, when I'm... Um, when um when exactly we don't know why did satan sin because he had the choice i don't know bible didn't say now we could say i could make up a scenario i could say that you know what um god didn't want the angels to know who jesus was at first and then later he said okay everyone this is jesus your commanding officer or your God bow before him and maybe that could be a reason. We don't know. That's why I'm saying I could make up a scenario. If Jesus was with God from the beginning before Satan was created, there's a possibility that Satan knew who Jesus was too. Maybe he didn't like the fact that he was above him. I don't know. Bible says it's a mystery. Now, um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'm pretty sure if you were, now, when we get to heaven and we are looking at the books, we are going to be where God is. Paradise. Paradise. And then... After a thousand years of looking at the books, we're going to come back to the new Jerusalem, with the New Jerusalem and possess the earth, and that will be our new heaven and new earth. Um, so, yeah, uh, that, that was a very great question. I don't remember all the questions, but um, what I thought was most necessary, I wanted to touch on it. Guys, again, don't forget to, you know, Hit that like button and that subscribe button. Again, this is the Open Cloud TV. Until then, bye for now.